Greetings, hockey fans. It is that time. Put down the razors, grow out the beards. It's time for hockey playoffs. I'm Scott Butheris. This is Daily News correspondent Ryan Tui. We're out at Jermaine Arena. We're going to get you everything you need to know about this year's playoffs. Now, uh, the Everblades, they, they had a, a very bounce back year after what happened last year. You know, they totally missed the playoffs last year. Which, First time in team history. So what do you think is the key difference between last year's squad and then this year's squad? Well, during the offseason, Coach Greg Poss uh, said he wanted to change the chemistry in the locker room, bring in uh, very good players who are going to be able to uh, keep a good attitude throughout the season. He named uh, Jordan Henry the captain of the team once uh, Matthew Wall left for Europe. And he also brought in Adam Brace, who was a point-per-game player this season, to help out with that uh, scoring that would be missing with Wagon. They also brought back rookie Brant Harris, who was sent up to the AHL with the Adirondack Flames. Uh, he's eligible to return for the playoffs and uh, should be coming back in the next couple of weeks. Uh, he had strong uh, consideration for Rookie of the Year, didn't win it, but if he can come back and make an impact to, for the playoffs, he could be a, a big player down the road for them. Now in the past, when, when the Everblades are really good, a lot of that has to do with their goaltending. When they, when they won the ECHL Cup a few years ago, it was because they had a lot of really good goaltenders. And that seems to be the case again for this year. You know, tell us a little bit about that situation in goal. Well, last season they did not have stability in goal. This year they have Alan York, who played 26 games with them during the regular season. He got a call up to the Syracuse Crunch in the, uh, of the AHL. And uh, he recently returned from a two-month stint with them. So he'll be the number one guy in the net throughout the playoffs. Right now, Daniel Altscheller, 20-year-old rookie Carolina prospect, is backing him up. They also have uh, Anthony Peters, who played two games during the regular season with them. He's playoff eligible. He's with the American, uh, Rochester Americans of the AHL right now. He won both of his two games during the regular season. He could be called upon if needed due to injury or if things aren't working out with Angle. All right, now first round of the uh, playoffs, the Blades are going to have a familiar opponent in the, in the Orlando Solar Bears. They're uh, pretty big rivals this year, but it, it seems that the Everblades have gotten the better of them, at least this season. What do they have to do to kind of continue this into the playoffs? Well, they just got to play how they played against them during the regular season when they went 10-4-1 against them. Now, um, you, you want to stay healthy through the playoffs, and there's not a lot of travel between the teams going back from Estero to Orlando, but this is going to be a rough series. Um, there was a lot of penalty minutes during the uh, three-game series that was played against them last week, and uh, quite a few fights. So they want to play a clean game. They want to stay as healthy as they can. The guy to watch out for on Orlando is Jacob Sepas. He scored 17 points against them in the regular season. They also have hot goaltending with Garrett Sparks, who had a 93.6 save percentage this season. He had a season record of 21-7-3. The Blades will have to find some way around him. Their best, uh, their best player against him in the regular season was Adam Brace. He scored 16 points uh, against the Solar Bears during the regular season. Hey, well, that's going to do it for us. Don't forget, stay with Naples Daily News throughout the playoffs. We'll have news, notes, analysis, photos, videos, everything to keep you up to date on uh, how the Everblades are doing as they're going through the postseason. So uh, until next time.